Hello everybody, my name is Ventricle, the number one YouTube source from Assassin's Creed 3 information, and today we have Assassin's Creed 3 news for Tuesday, March 13th, so let's get into it. First off, we have the cover of Game Informer right here that has Assassin's Creed 3. Now, most of the following information in this video is going to be from the articles that were put in this um, in this issue of Game Informer. There are two different covers. One was this one, and the other was exactly the same as the Steelbook. Same artwork, same everything, except obviously not the Steelbook. Just to let you know, guys, I put my Assassin's Creed Revelations in here, kind of to just fill it up for now. My Full Sail University application. Okay, but let's get into this. Uh, first off, main question people are wondering if you haven't announced it already. His first name is Connor. He just likes to call himself Connor. As you can see uh, by the couple articles, it just calls him Connor instead of Connor or whatever. Over here it says, at the center of Ubisoft's ambitious upcoming installment to the... To, is a new hero. The new assassin calls himself Connor, though among the people who raised him, he is called a Radun Hagedu, which is a, I'm guessing, some kind of tribe. And so, that's, it doesn't say his last name, although uh, that might have been his last name. I'm not too sure. Another thing you want to know is that he was born from an English, mo an English father and a Native American mother. So, he's half white, half Native American. That was also, some of the rumors going around about this. And if you're wondering, yes, that is George Washington. If you take a step back here, you can see this is George Washington. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. Now, if you've done 8th grade history before, you all know who these three people are. Very important in the American Revolution. This is the assassin himself as a child. And if you want to see what he looks like without the hood, that is what he looks like in his teen years, so to say. And here's a closer-up picture of him. It's a little blurry. Over here we have Declaration with the Assassin symbol. And let's go back to the main design of the character over on the front of the page. Now, if you couldn't tell already, guns are going to be a big part of this Assassin's Creed. Uh, you can't really tell from this one, but he does have a gun right there. And if you could look on the steel book, right here, there is a gun holster right there. Bow and arrow back here. Flip it over. He's got a bow, the same gun holster that I was just talking about, the gun and the tomahawk. So he has two guns on him, possibly a Kimbo, not too sure. Let's go back to the other thing. Over here it says, Connor's interaction with George Washington will play a significant role in the story. So, George Washington is a big character, and a lot of people are wondering, is the Animus coming back? Is the Animus coming back? Well, I finally have an answer for you guys. Bam! Right there. Here's the article. The new Animus 3.0 premieres in this installment, and the software has a new visual style that was significant signify signify the change the popular animus data database feature also returns offering historical perspective through the cipher of in-game character sean hastings rewit so it says right there that sean that british dude from brotherhood and revelations is back as well as desmond uh subject 16 is not going to be having any mysteries anytime soon, but that doesn't mean the team is abandon abandoning this, this popular concept entirely. So it looks like Subject 15, 16's mysteries are going to be mostly out of the question, but not completely. Over here we have another picture of him in his epic fashion. Multiplayer. It doesn't really give too much information. It says Ubisoft re remains tight-lipped about multiplayer features, but obviously there is going to be a multiplayer feature in this game fast travel i'm guessing there's going to be a lot more horses in this one horses and horses 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 right there he is holding a musket obviously proves the point that there is going to be a lot of guns in this game looks like he's aiming at what looks to be a deer so you could skin animals maybe like red dead redemption i don't know um over here we kind of have like another assassin looking thing the tomahawk 
slash axe that is in the shape of an assassin symbol. A little bit of kind of like a gameplay thing. Obviously, you can see the redcoats or the British are the enemy in this game. So I hope I gave enough information uh, to tell. Uh, art drawn, draw by Alex Ross. He is the drawer of the steel book. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any information that you feel that I missed, please share it with the people in the comment section below so they know what other information they did not get from this video. And I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.